NGS is a powerful tool to profile DNA and RNA sequences and is a critical technique for many fields in research and healthcare. Unfortunately, many parts of the NGS workflow are complex, require a lot of repetitive pipetting, and are prone to errors. For NGS, library prep can take from a whole day to a day and a half. Each individual step could take an hour to maybe two or three hours. As samples pass from hand to hand, being treated on different days, there's all sorts of different variable factors that can affect the sample's performance. So the experience uh, up front with those long, complex workflows that take many days are pretty critical, and time is costly as well. So implementing, optimizing workflows costs time, and, and that's really precious in a lab. Many labs are turning to automation to help with their NGS workflows. Robotic systems, such as the Opentron's OT2, can work tirelessly and flawlessly to execute pipetting, making them highly suitable for complex procedures. With automation, we've been able to really fix the, uh, the pipeline. So we have really fixed workflows with known chemistries, but we've been able to make the library construction part of the NGS sequencing workflow amazingly consistent. The actual variability of the libraries constructed at that level is minimal. On the OT2, we have really compared several different chemistries, and the most important metric at the level of uh, library preparation before we even sequence the libraries is the coefficient of variability at the uh, library level. So when we take the CV of the libraries constructed per run, across runs, it's very low. We can be as low as 3% in terms of the coefficient of variability at that level. The OT2 can perform with reagents from pretty much any vendor. It works well with alumina tagmentation beads as well as the traditional fragmentation library prep. NGS can be an expensive technique requiring investments in hardware, reagents, software, and skilled personnel. Affordable automation can reduce the labor costs associated with manually preparing NGS libraries, as well as costs associated with errors and run-to-run -run variability. At the lab management level, we're very cost conscious. You're very mindful of the time that it takes to optimize an assay, of course, but then the, the cost of reagents. And every time you need to rerun an experiment because there was some variability or batch effect, that costs as well. We really want to decrease the variability as much as possible because it ends up being cost in time and reagent. Automation is helping thousands of laboratories to make their NGS workflows more efficient and reproducible. And the OT2 offers the most cost-effective way to automate and achieve high-quality, uniform libraries for sequencing.